Congratulations. Thank you. It's been a difficult season, but that must be quite a sweet ending for you. Absolutely. So we, there's always the best to end on a high. Then you have to, the whole summer and to enjoy. You say you've got the whole summer to enjoy. You be aware of the build-up to this game. There's been a lot of kind of conflicting reports about what your conversations have been with the owners. Do you still expect to be Manchester United manager after the summer? I don't think about this. Eh? I'm in a project and we are exactly where we want to be. We constructing a team. And when I took over, it was a mess at United. And we are on our way to construct a team for the future. And that will go with ups and downs. And what you see is eh, the team is developing. The team is winning. In the end of the day, it's about winning, winning trophies. And a team also plays to an identity. And, but you need the players to be available and you need a strong squad in, in top football. And especially when you play in England, uh, uh, Europe, Premier League, so competitive. So you need very good squad and you need players available in that squad. And there is uh, still a lot of work to do, but we are exactly where we are. And uh, we have a value in the squad and uh, we have high potentials who uh, progressing very good, the team is progressing and we're winning trophies. Uh, two trophies in two years is not bad, three finals is not bad, uh, but we have to keep going. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not satisfied with it, we have to do better and if they don't want me anymore, then I go anywhere else to win trophies because that is what I did my whole career. Hi Eric, I think in a, uh, an interview you did in Holland, you said that uh, you'd been told by Ineos that they want to build United around you. Can you confirm that that is actually what you said, that you have been told by Ineos that they do want you to yeah. be the manager? That is what they always t tell me. How many times do I have to tell you this? Every time is the same question. Every time is the same question. And do I have to repeat myself 10 times, 15 times, 20 times? No, just a day. You, just yeah, but they don't have to tell me every week. Eh? If they tell me so often, eh? I, I never, and I was in some clubs before, eh, that they every every day that they come to tell you hey, you are the best and we want to build with you hey, when they tell it and I, uh, when they don't want anymore then I will hear it but hey, they, they told me many times uh, After such a terrific win how harsh would it be if you did lose your job having just beaten Manchester City? When I started here I said you I'm here to win and also I want to build a team you know, both I'm doing but if they don't want me anymore, what I say, I go, I go anywhere else. And then I keep going, what I do my whole managing career, winning games, winning trophies. Erik, uh, if you compare this trophy uh, with your other successes at Ajax, your early, earlier success, how do you rate this one? Uh, I'm so, uh, so happy. Oh, so, if, so sometimes it is coming by luck that you um, develop a young player. But there was a plan. And we planned this uh, last summer to bring in Garnacho in the team. And also Kobe Mano. Kobe Mano uh, uh, took an injury, a very bad injury, in the second game of the preseason against Real Madrid after one minute. And yeah, then already that was the first setback. And it was a huge setback for him and for the team. But in the end, we are so happy that we have seen this well. Uh, me as a manager with my coaching staff. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy because I think they have potential to uh, demand of, to, to meet the standards you need for absolutely top football. And yeah, we need only more from such players because the depth in the squad is by far not good enough. You've been very honest about all the challenges you faced this season. The club have made a lot of changes to the manager in the past and it's just not worked out for them. Do you think at this stage of sort of your project it will be a, a dreadful mistake to make a change 
and is the last thing that the club at this stage need. They need some consistency. Um, I don't have to think about this. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I don't have to make this decision. But in your own mind, how, how important is it at this stage that they're at now that the club, in your mind, has stability going forward? Do you think it's just going to be impossible if they keep chopping and changing managers? Uh, when you see the last decade, uh, there were not so many finals for this club. There were not so many trophies for this club. Uh, there were not so many uh, young talents coming, coming through, coming, coming through, coming uh, into the first team in high potential. And yeah, but also I think in the middle group also developed this season very good. When I think about Diogo Dalo, for instance, as um, as an example, there were also others. Uh, we we strengthened the squad by our coaching and by with our training. And but also yeah, we uh, still we we need uh, transfer windows to bring better players in to and also players who are always available or often available because when the players are not robust enough and this season the players were not robust enough you can't deliver consistent performances in the build-up to the fa cup final eric your bosses have been talking to other managers is that disappointing from your perspective i don't know if they have done this i i can't answer this question You've obviously had to deal with a lot of speculation about your future this season, a lot of criticism as the season's gone on about how your team have played and, and things like that. Getting that medal today, lifting that trophy, what were your emotions? What was sort of going through your head at the end of the season, having been through all that you've been through personally over the last few months? I really enjoyed this final. And first place, of course, by lifting the trophy, but especially in the way we played. And then you see all the work we put in uh, uh, together. Uh, the staff, the players, in togetherness, uh, we put, it, put in to develop and to progress this team. And if you then play in this level against the best team in the world, yeah, then I'm very pleased and I'm very happy uh, to saw that. When you make like this, uh, sorry to say this, but then you don't have any knowledge about football and about managing a football team. When you don't have the players available, and then you can't perform. <laughs> so simple as that. And if that is the opinion, it's no problem. Eh? Then I go anywhere else and I go and stay, keep winning and winning trophies. <laughs> no, then you don't understand managing a football team. When the players are not there, eh? I can't train them. I can't coach them. So they can't perform. They can't develop. And yeah, we will not get the results we want. Okay, thank you.